The job market for professionals skilled in Revit is really taking off and there are a ton of opportunities out there. In this video, I will share how we can use Revit for some of these positions. This is based on my own experience over the last five years, whether I've been working full-time, part-time, on contract, or as freelancer. There are a lot of chances to find work in different sectors in the AEC industry, but it's important to know that. Job titles and descriptions could be different depending on where you are, what employers are looking for, and the unique requirements of the project. So, with this in mind, let's dive in and check out the first position. Using Revit as a 3D modeling software, which is more like a stage of using Revit rather than an actual position. It is when we use Revit as just a 3D modeling software, which might sound weird because of course Revit is a 3D modeling software. So let me just clarify this. Think about a SketchUp for a second. It is a very easy to use and fast software for sketching out concepts and creating forms or consider 3ds Max, which is a very powerful software for modeling, rendering and animation. But here's the catch. What you create on these softwares are just models. They are not smart. They don't have any properties. If you create a cuboid as a wall, it's not even a wall. It's just a form. A software registers that as just a form. But on the other hand, when we create anything in Revit, it should be in a category. It has information. It has data. You can change it. You can modify it according to what you need. While we can use Revit for serious modeling, there are some times that we just want to create sketches for some ideas or play with some forms. We can set up an entire project just for exporting renders or creating animations in Inkscape. In these cases, we can keep everything simple and create just what we need. This approach not only helps us to answer the requirements of the project, but also it allows us to take advantage of unique features of Revit. For example, we can create 3D and 2D at the same time, or we can export VRs, or we can present the idea or the 3D model that we have created in real-time rendering environment. We can do all of these things depending on what we need, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. However, since Revit has so much more potentials, using Revit this way is not always the most efficient approach. Another way of using Revit is when we use it for architecture. We use Revit for modeling the sections and different disciplines of a building, right? However, before this modeling stage, we have the design stage, the starting point of each project after concept, uh, working on planning, circulation, developing, and so on. So we usually do all of these things in AutoCAD, and then we can create 2D drawing, documentation, and then we use all of these information and import them into Revit and based on those data, we create 3D models. Based on this, we don't usually start a project from scratch in Revit. But does this mean that we can't? No. It's completely fine and quite feasible to start a project from scratch in Revit. Each program, each software has its own purpose. But there's no rule saying you can't be creative and take the most out of what Revit can offer. Many architects, interior designers, landscape designers start their project from scratch in Revit and develop it all the way to the final stages. This can lead them to design, create 2D drawing, create documentation, even create 3D modeling, and then create rendering based on those all in one place. The advantages are huge. In this way, professionals can speed up their process significantly and they can also save a lot of time. Also, if they take time and develop systems and automate certain tasks, they will benefit it so much in the long run. The third role we are exploring is family creation in Revit, which focuses on building custom components and elements. 
Families in Revit are vital and they range from basic elements like doors, windows, to more complex families like furniture, lighting fixture, and systems. We have different types of families, system families, loadable families, and in-place families. And in here, we are mainly focusing on loadable families because they are so important in all of the disciplines especially in structural disciplines since everything we create on that discipline are somehow loadable families while family creation might be considered as part of many roles there are some positions that specialize in this area so for example a furniture company can create 3d models of their products for architects and designers so they can include all of these products to their projects and the same applies to companies that design and create essential building systems like cooling systems and heating systems also since some companies focus on creating systems and automating process for better and smoother workflow by creating templates for their needs having family creators not only can save time but also can promote consistency over time before we go to the next position i would like you to know that the doors to enrollment into our new online course is now open for the next five days you have this opportunity to join us and to get start your learning journey Evit Architecture Mastery is designed to provide you all of the foundational knowledge that you need for all of the careers and positions mentioned in here. It covers everything you need to know about Revit all in one place, allowing you to just focus on your learning journey without wasting any time. As I mentioned before, during this pre-launch period, you can enjoy this huge and one-time discount. And also, the first one who joins the course will receive a full refund. If you would like to hear more explanation about the course, you can check the videos that I'm putting in here and also you can check the link in description. Our next rule focuses on using Revit in conjunction with point cloud data, a methodology that has gained significant popularity in our field. Point clouds are created using 3D scanning technologies, capturing exact exterior shape of existing buildings professionals with these data can create highly accurate 3d models of building and then they can use them for renovation restorations or for new construction projects to start we take point cloud data first into autodesk recap pro there we can work on it we can clean it up we can optimize it and then from there we take it into revit in Revit, we can start the modeling process and model the building and the structure based on the information we have. This makes the process smoother and easier. There are so much benefits in using Revit for point cloud data. For example, the accuracy and the precision is so much high and this can help avoid mistakes, costly mistakes, and also it can help us to make better decisions. On the other hand, handling large point clouds leads to performance issue. And also modeling them in Revit can take a lot of time. We also need to be sure that we are not adding unnecessary information and making the model more complex. Working on point clouds feels like somehow reverse engineering process. It's a bit different than what we usually do in architecture and design process. For me, it's really enjoyable. We use the same tools and options, but the approach is a bit different. Finally, the fifth and last position using Revit in BIM projects. Revit is a building information modeling software. It can help us bring BIM process into our projects. It is a smarter way of working that gives us a digital representation of our project. When we work in Revit, we are not just creating 3D models. We are creating detailed database that has information about each and every section of our building. 
In a BIM project, architects, structural engineers, MEP engineers, contractors are working on the same platform. Multiple teams can work on their models at the same time. And since everything in Revit is interconnected, if we change a model, it can automatically update other models too. And this can lead to better coordination and it reduces mistakes during construction. Revit also offers tools for identifying clashes, which can save a lot of time and money. It also can help visualizing the final product and how it will function much better. This also can help understanding the result much better and making informed decisions. Using BIM process for Revit modeling can take your project into the next level. And it's not just about how it looks, it is an intelligent model filled with useful information that simplifies the entire construction process. We have just explored 5k positions that you can pursue by becoming an expert in Revit. There are so many titles and roles in our field and this overview highlights different ways that Revit is used in different career passes. Revit indeed is a very powerful tool and if you are interested on any of these positions, mastering it is essential for your success in your professional journey. Thank you so much for watching until now. I really hope it was helpful for you and I will see you next time.